able to get to him. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. And he'll be down at the six-yard line. With such a costly interception, nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is and oftentimes is successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Odell Beckham from six yards away. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 21 to seven. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see though, when we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you gotta do something to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've gotta get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. On play action, love to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And what's he moving? Before he's out of bounds. What's he moving? It's an off up defense. They can't be so beaten. Anything against that shit. They can prove he can do something against that shit. But that would have been fun. Look, dude. Play fake. Here's Love. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into it. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy. And can he step into a throw? And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. After the interception, here's Jackson. And some room to run now. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's Jackson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. 
What the fuck is you doing? Run your fucking play, bro. What the fuck is you experiment for, nigga? Still fighting back. Fuck if you experiment for. The fucking play. Stupid ass. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. He's got a man. Complete. Hey, this is why the fuck you don't fucking play with a nigga, you stupid fat bitch. That's why the fuck you don't fucking sit there and fucking play with a nigga. You fucking experiment, you stupid ass. And the Packers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Carlson's extra point up and good. And they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. Look at this shit. But they're going to line up for the onside kick. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. You playing fucking playing games. Nigga trying to win. You playing. Experiment shit. You got full fucking interceptions. He down one touchdown. right is Jackson two yards the gain on the keeper and it's second down anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner most of the time when you design a play you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains your risk reward and him taking hits I'm not sure that's the payout they were looking for and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9 that gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep first and goal Throwing is Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least to feel the Nobody. Nobody in the middle of the fucking field. Nobody. Nobody in the middle of the field, Timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. First down, going to the air with Love. Drops it to Jones in the flat. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And it's second down. Love now. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. So this is so stupid. This is so fucking funny, yo. Like this nigga, like this nigga Tyree Kill. So ain't heard of this nigga all year. But he got this bitch catching like he Tyree Kill. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. 
That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaughan. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. A handoff from Mitchell running left. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to pull that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing, because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point. They'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson keeping it himself from eight yards out as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Packers 17. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Nixon now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, and now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. And they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Under pressure, they got him again. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Love. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. And got his man complete. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. 
对，对。